So let's take a look at what's behind this multimodal line balance here. You can see it's called line 56 at the top here. And if I just show you the structure of what's in line 56 here, you can see here what I've done. I've got my documents, and under that I've created a multimodal folder. And underneath the multimodal folder, I've got a line 56. But notice here model A, B, C, and D. These are outside of that particular line area. So what I've actually done is I've created a line 56, and in doing so, when I go to line 56, here you'll find the file that contains the, uh, the details about the multimodal uh, structure here, the four entries here. And it also contains the actual studies themselves. What has happened is that the studies themselves for each of the models have been copied into the line 56 folder along with the, f the file here, the mod x, this stands for model, and the model file that, that points to these so that it knows to pull these together. So really what we're doing is we've created a separate working area here for line 56. It's copied the models from wherever they happen to be, and they happen to be just below this folder in this particular example here. It's done that because, of course, when you're looking at a particular um, combination of models like you see in the background here, you can do different things to improve the uh, the flow of the product through the line. And you're going to make those changes into this. these models that are held in the working area under the line 56 folder. So no matter where your individual studies are, when you create a multi-model, they're going to be all brought together into one folder. And then you're going to be able to manipulate them in here any way that you wish to improve your efficiency 